Okay, so I know the background looks a little bit crazy right now. It's just the lighting is better right here. Um, hello. It's been literally forever since I've posted on this channel. I recently started my own small business. Well, I can't say recently. This has been in the works since about August 2021. It is a jewelry business. It's called CRB Unoya. Unoya is a Greek word. It means beautiful thinking. If there's anyone else out there who is looking to start a small business, whether it be a jewelry business or a candle business, anything like that, I hope that you can get something out of these videos. Yeah, I'm just gonna be documenting basically how I run my business behind the scenes. Okay, so it is the next day. Excuse the lighting. I was thinking about recreating the jewelry backing cards that I have. The ones that I have right now really can only fit like one necklace at a time. I can show you guys how that looks in a second. But I thought that it would make more sense if I came up with a bigger sized card to where if someone wants, you know, not just one necklace, but two or three, I would be able to layer them all on one card. And I think that it would look kind of pretty having like all the necklaces layered together. So that's what I'm gonna be working on today. I like to print all of mine myself. If there's something about them that I don't like, I can fix the things that I don't like, adjust the size, and I don't have 700 cards laying around that I'm not gonna be able to use and that, you know, I spent my money on. Okay, so just ignore this crazy angle right now. So these are the cards. I'm gonna show you what it looks like with one necklace on it and why I think it would be a better idea to get like a bigger size. So I just take the card and I make two little slits, like one right there and then one right here. So I just lay the pennant down about where I want it to sit on the card. Then... I take the chains and I just wrap them through the little slits that I made. So this is about what it's going to look like with all of this extra chain. It's going to be put just in a little bag. I probably could squeeze another necklace on here, maybe like put slits right here and just like pin this one up a little bit higher. But I feel like this just works better for one necklace. So I am going to get on those other cards right now and then I'll show you guys what those look like. So I just took a little lunch break while I was waiting on my sister to send me back the template with these cards on it. If it wasn't for my sister helping me with all of my cards and stuff, I probably wouldn't have any because I literally have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to making the templates for all of these cards to be able to get them to the right size and print them how I need them and everything. So shout out to my sister. She actually has her own small business as well. She sells soy candles, wax melts, and she does mystery boxes. She has a really cute Valentine's Day special kind of going on right now. It's like a Valentine's Day gift box. It is so cute. I'll leave the link to that in the description. I'm so excited to see if these actually work or not. Once I run out those little ones that I showed you guys earlier, I might change the design of those to look like this because I think I like this better. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know which one you like better. I think that my printer might be running out of ink because they are not supposed to be this color. So this is supposed to be like a light beige color and then this one on the inside is going to be a darker brown. I also accidentally printed this on photo paper but I figured I'd cut them out anyways just to be able to test out like how many necklaces I could fit on there and this is how it turned out. I think it looks great. I can fit three necklaces where you can still clearly see each individual pendant. They aren't overlapping each other. In case you guys are looking for something of a similar size, the height of them is four and a half and the width is three inches. For these, the width is two and a half and the height is three and a half. I did get a package in the mail, so we're gonna open this. Okay, so these are the little baggies that I got to be able to just slip the chain into. This is a pack of 100. I think it was $3.99 for all of these. So to test out these little baggies, I'm just going to use this smaller card that just holds one necklace. This is how it fits just like that. And I'm going to just fold it up and put a little sticker on there just to hold it in place rather than trying to like cram, you know, more than one on there. I'm really happy 
that I decided to make these cards instead. Once I address whatever's going on with my printer, these are gonna look great. They also are not gonna be on this like photo paper. They're just going to be matte like this. I print on cardstock. I feel like that works best because sometimes the ink from this photo paper can actually transfer onto your jewelry and you do not want that to happen. So today I got an email from one of my vendors saying that some of the sample pieces that I ordered is out of stock. So they have to refund me my money for them and I'm not gonna be getting them with this order, which I mean, it is okay. It's just kind of disappointing because I've been really looking forward to getting these new pieces and testing them out. And I know that sounds crazy because like I haven't even launched these yet, but like I said in the beginning of the video, this business has been in the work since August last year. It's just taken a lot longer than I thought, but I know that all of the pieces that I have right now for my first collection are really good quality. So I'm kind of preparing for my summer collection. I just like to be able to have enough time to fully test out the products in a variety of different situations like sleeping in them, showering in them, working out in them, just wearing them day to day. I don't want to cut that trial period short, especially because all of the items in this sample order are gold filled. So they cost more. I wanna be able to like really test them out in every single condition, just like I did with the pieces that I have right now. But I wanted to be able to sample every piece that I had picked out for this collection because a a couple months ago, I got a sample order from this one vendor. All of the pieces were so beautiful. They all passed my trial period. When I found another pennant that I really liked from them, I didn't think of buying a sample piece of it. I just trusted that the quality was gonna be just as good as all the other ones. This is the pennant that I didn't buy a sample of. And I bought like 10. Every other pendant that I have is 18 to 24 karat gold plating and this is only 14. It was nothing like any of the other pendants that I got from there. It doesn't seem like it was manufactured by the same people. So I just wanted to be sure of that with this order, be able to sample every piece and not just trust that it's all going to be the same quality just because it's coming from the same place. Hopefully I'll be able to just place another order whenever they're back in stock. I was thinking about doing a video on things that you can avoid when you're starting out a business. It would basically just be about the things that I wish I knew before I started and like tips and tricks on how to save you guys some money if you are someone who's thinking about starting a business. So if you guys would be interested in a video like that, I can definitely do that for you. I know that that would have been something so helpful for me when I was first starting out. I'm probably just going to make a lot of the videos that I was looking for and couldn't find anywhere and I'll post those to be able to help other people who were in the same situation that I was in. But other than that, I think I'm going to wrap this video up here. This was kind of half of a week in my life video. Just let me know what you guys would be interested in seeing or what you guys need help with. And of course, please feel free to reach out to me on Instagram if you guys have any other questions or if you need help with anything. I'll leave all of my social media information in the description box. And again, shout out to my sister and her small business. If you're looking for a gift for someone for Valentine's Day, whether it be a mom, sister, best friend, girlfriend, even boyfriend. All you have to do is click the link in my description and I'm sure you'll find something that they would love. But that's gonna do it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.